Hey guys, going to take a look inside my MFJ loop today. It hasn't been tuning really well uh, lately, so I figured that maybe some bugs got into it or something. So I just took off the screws to the cover here, and here is the big reveal. Here, let's take a look inside. I actually don't see much in the way of bugs. A little bit of stuff here. Uh, a little bit of stuff here. The weld joints still look okay. Do see some corrosion. Well, I'll clean her up and uh, We'll have a look at the other end as well. Let you know if I find anything there. And so here's the other end off. Um, there's the uh, primary loop, by the way. That's what your feed line actually runs. And it's uh, magnetically coupled to the outer ring. Still, I'm seeing some light corrosion, but no bug infestation. So, uh, I'll take a, like a brush to it um, and clean it up here and see if things improve. Um, it'd be a shame if this stopped tuning up. Uh, they are not cheap these antennas uh, surely I can fix this thing up all right talk to you later guys okay I think I found the culprit here looking way down inside here don't know if you can see it it's not gonna focus too well but right down there is a fried insect across a couple of solder joints Pretty sure that's going to be the problem. So we'll get that out of there. Okay, all cleaned up and repackaged and ready to go back up in a tree. So I was considering uh, sealing all these holes with silicone. A lot of um, hams that own this antenna swear by sealing this sucker up before you deploy it. I am going to argue for the opposite. I think ease of serviceability is key. So I think I'm happy to clean this thing out every two years, which I've just done, uh, rather than seal it up and where bugs could still potentially get in somehow. And then you've got a problem trying to open it up and service it. So I'm happy just to use it as it comes and uh, service it every year or two. So you um, might consider that yourself if you own one of these. Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you later.